I heard about Daniel from my brother Michael. They are both musicians, they play together. He told me his, one of his friends was looking for a librettist for his new opera about Charlie Parker. And I'd heard that name all of my life since I was a little kid. My uncle idolized him. My grandmother hated him because her son became a heroin addict as well. So his name was not to be spoken. But I learned a lot about him by researching it. I went to meet Daniel, talked to him about it, and he said, fine, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Daniel's only request was that I base the story on Charlie Parker trying to write new music. I had to read everything, listen to everything, every book, every film, even Clint Eastwood's film, everything I could get my hands on, and then about the musicians that he also played in. I was very careful about the words because these people all were real flesh and blood people and I didn't want to put words or my words in their mouth. So I had to find a way of finding Charlie Parker because Charlie never wrote about himself, never spoke about himself. There was no autobiography by him. There were biographies about him, but those were other people's interpretation of his life. So I wanted to, as much as I could, find him in all of this stuff. I absolutely knew that this had to be about the women in his life. This was my first opera. I was a poet. I am a playwright. But this was my first opera. First I had to come up with the story, the whole story. My problem was that as a playwright, you write, you know, you've got dialogue going for days trying to <laughs> tell the story. Opera is just so short. Well, like poetry, but I had to write it. I wrote 72 pages and then I knew I had to cut it down to 30 some. It was a challenge. It played beautifully in this setting. It's an opera, yes, because it's all sung, but the direction here almost makes it like a musical, in a sense. There's more action than the, the park it and bark it, as they say on regular opera. So the way it's freely moving here, where the stage is actually the whole theater, is very different, and the story is still there, but it does have a different resonance or a different perspective on the story that sometimes is very palatable and certainly moving. I am very proud that we've had Charlie Parker Jarbert done in so many cities and of meeting so many people, but the biggest amount of people that I've met that I'm really proud to have met is the singers that bring this to life and the directors that direct the production and the opera companies that run these presentations. My life has been enriched in a way that I would have never thought of. It's been a very enriching experience. And anytime you have somebody do your work, you know, you only have this much time on the planet, but that work keeps going ideally. So yes, I'm very proud and extremely happy and love Daniel Schneider to death for allowing me to do it. It is not.